Teresa. Let's review our plan before we go in. All right. We'll tell Oscar that we'll release you if he gives up his weapons and Malachine. We'll tie him up, collect the Therian, and then head for the docks. Once we're aboard our ship and ready to sail, we'll release you. You'll be free to do whatever you want. Very well. But I want you to promise me one thing. Promise me you won't hurt Oscar. That depends on him. I'll defend myself if I have to. <sighs> um, Velvet... Please, do it for me, too. If you want to save Oscar, you need to make him listen. Put your own life on the line. You're his sister. Do whatever you have to to protect him. I will. Even if it means my death.
We're almost at the Earth Pulse point. You all know the plan, right? I'm using you as a hostage to keep Oscar from doing anything stupid. And don't you try anything funny either. I knew you'd come, Velvet. Sister! As plain as day. Now put down your sword and let go of my fairy. If you don't, I'll kill her. You coward! I'm sorry to do this, Oscar! I'm searching for the truth behind the Abbey's talk of so-called reason. And your idea of reason is to threaten my dear sister's life? <laughs> I'm sorry, Oscar. I've become nothing but a burden. Teresa, no. It's not like that. All right. I'll put down my arms. <clears throat> Teresa, get back! Forgive me, Oscar. This is the only way I can protect you. We've kept our end of the bargain. Take him and get out of here. I can't do that. It will reflect poorly upon him. Lady Teresa? Have you forgotten? You're just a powerless human. You're right. I am a weak, worthless human. But he has shown me the light. And it shines. My body is receptive to Inominat's power. And with it, I can protect everything I care about. She turned into a Therian? No, she fused with it. I'll kill you all. Anything to protect Oscar. Merging with a fairy. Do you realize what you're doing, Teresa? <laughs> a trivial sacrifice. I'd do anything for my Oscar. Killing Flash! But I'm just close. I want it! Form zero! <laughs>
Loose. Not here. L Lady Teresa. Stand down, or I'll devour you piece by piece. <laughs> It's okay, sister. You've done enough. No, don't look at me. I'm so hideous. When I was growing up, the only one my mother and father ever paid any attention to was my older brother, the heir. But you, Teresa, you noticed me when they didn't. You looked after me, supported me, smiled for me. I could never thank you enough, my sister. <laughs> Oscar. Now, keep watching over me, Teresa. As long as you're looking after me, I can vanquish even the Lord of Demons. Take a good look! This is armatization! That's one hell of an art.
My sister. He's losing control of the metal. Oh, damn it! It's turning into a dragon. Velvet, quick! Devour that thing! Stop! He's still. for my birthday. They're family heirlooms that were supposed to go to his fiancée, but he didn't know that at the time. I told him he should give them to the woman he cares most about in the world. And you know what he did? He smiled at me and said I was that woman. So sweet. So innocent. And you took him away! Killed my Oscar! How could you? How could you? How could you? No! Don't do it! and we came for. He... Oscar came at him first. I had to. It was for Luffy. For my little brother. 